Hey everyone, welcome back to another video here. This is Dark, and today we're gonna do the walkthrough for the room source. Now, this is a pretty straightforward room uh, with a relatively recent vulnerability, but uh, it ends up being a really nice room for just basic practice, especially if you're just getting into pen testing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, so first thing I've done is actually join the room on Try Hack Me. So once you've joined in, it'll give you the option to deploy, and I've gone ahead and done that. Um, it'll take a couple minutes for the IP to show up, but once that's done, we can go ahead and continue. So our first task here is embark. Uh, enumerate and root the box attached to this task. Can you discover the source of the disruption and leverage it to take control? So it looks like we have two things that we need to do. We'll have to get a user flag and then a root flag. Let's go ahead and hop over to our terminal, and we can go ahead and start scanning this box. So here in our terminal, I've gone ahead and connected to the TriHackMe network, and we can go ahead and start just a simple scan. So we'll go ahead and do tac sv, tac sc for common scripts. Tac, uh, we'll do oa for all outputs, and we'll do scans directory, and I've gone ahead and made that directory before this, and we'll name it um, initial scan, and then we give it the IP here. Let's go ahead and let that run. And while that's running, we can go ahead and check a couple other things. Let's hop over to our web browser. Let's see if there's just a basic HTTP server running. Looks like there's not. We can try HTTPS to see if that's there. And nothing. It looks like there's not a lot running on this box, so we'll have to see what we end up getting from our scan. Looks like it's just about done. And we'll give it just a moment to complete. Now, with this, uh, this room is part of a combo. Uh, the virtual machine used in this room source is also part of the room attacker KB. Uh, so if you want a guided experience with this room, you can go ahead and do that. And there's another video on that room. And there we go. It looks like we've got the results back from our scan. So there appears to be two ports open on this machine, 22, which is going to be SSH. And this is a pretty common version of SSH for Ubuntu. So we know that this is a Linux box. Um, this version of SSH doesn't have any issues that at least I'm aware of at the top of my head, so we'll go ahead and focus on that other service, which it looks like we have Webmin running, and we have version 1.890 on port 10,000. Let's go ahead and hop over and take a look at that. So we can use this tab, and then we'll try 10,000. And it looks like we have a security risk because it's running on HTTPS. Let's see if it works. Okay, so it looks like we have Webmin running on here, and it was version 1.890. Uh, with that information, let's go ahead and hop over. We're going to use Attacker KB in this specific situation. This is a tool made by Rapid7. Awesome, awesome tool. Um, and this allows us to go through and search for vulnerabilities. So, for example, zero logon, uh, and see if they're actually going to be valuable and see if they have, uh, for example, Metasploit modules associated with them. Let's go ahead and search Webmin. We'll give it just a moment here. And it looks like, sure enough, an issue was discovered in Webmin through 1.920 uh, where we can get command injection. So that's not great. Uh, let's take a look at this. Um, And it looks like this was a supply chain attack, and we can take a quick look at that as well. This backdoor was introduced in a, in a version that was exploitable in the default install. Uh, so version 1.890, uh, which is the version that we have, um, is vulnerable by default, which is a big problem. Uh, and this also it looks like has a Metasploit module, so we'll take a look at that in a moment. So this is a quick news briefing by Webmin. Uh, this is just talking about how there is a backdoor added into this version uh, that could allow anyone with knowledge of it to execute commands as root, which is a big problem. Versions.190 to 1920 also contained a backdoor using similar code, but it was not exploitable in a default webmin install. So we're lucky we have version 1.890 that we're working with, so we can go ahead and take a swing at that and see if it works. Looking over at this, it looks like there was a Metasploit module that is just named webmin backdoor, and we can go through and try that against it. So let's go ahead, without further ado, switch back over to our terminal, we'll open up a new tab here, and launch Metasploit. We'll give this just a moment, and we'll see if we can run that module against it. So we'll clear the screen here. I'll make it just a little bit bigger. 
and we'll search Webman Backdoor, see if that's exactly what it's named. And it looks like that is the case. So we'll go ahead and use zero, show options. Uh, we need to set our, our host. We probably still have that on our clipboard. Sure enough, we do. And then we need to set L host. We can do ton zero in this case since I'm connected to the Try Hack Me network. And let's go ahead and give that a try. So it looks like uh, we need to say that it's using an SSL cert. So set SSL to true. And let's try running that again. I think that'll do it. Yep, there we go. So we have command session one opened. Let's type in who am I? And sure enough, we are root. So that's about it. Uh, we can go ahead and grab our flags here, but uh, let's take a look. Word count root, root.txt. Um, and we can see that it looks like there is, sure enough, a 25 character long flag in there. Um, and then we can take a look at um, our home users and there's a user dark. And we have a user.txt in there. And sure enough, we have the installation file in there. Otherwise, that's about going to do it for today. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to hop in in either the Try Hack Me official Discord or the DarkSec Discord. And I will see you guys in the next video.